How's everybody doing? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Wacko. We are going to be making a Puerto Rican stir fry rice. So it's basically rice and beans that we were that was left from the day before. Um, don't have too much time to cook fresh, fresh food right now. So my wife is coming in in about a half hour. So I want to get this stuff ready for her because she actually loves this rice. All right, so let's go and tell you what the ingredients are. We're gonna use purple onions, chopped up peppers, leftover rice from yesterday, beans from yesterday, those smell wonderful. Like always, some of that wonderful garlic. A little bit of adobo, sazon to give a color. This is the main ingredient in this right here. That bacon right there, that fatty, beautiful, salty bacon. Can't replace that ever. And a little bit of fresh chopped cilantro. I'm gonna throw it all in there and we're gonna yeah, stir fry it. Just waiting for this to get hot. So we're gonna try to get this caramelized. Once it gets caramelized, we're gonna go ahead and throw in that uh, the vegetables inside, which are going to be the onions and peppers. And uh, yeah, they look kind of caramelized already. So let's go ahead and get to that. So I got a nice, healthy fistful of onions. Let's work in there. Let it caramelize also. Put that pepper in there. I forgot to tell you guys that yes, we're gonna use a little bit of salt and pepper. As always. I'm gonna get those flavors to pop to come out. All those juices. And then give it a little bit of a kick, right? So now that we got that done, we're gonna lift it, simmer for a bit. Bacon looks nice and good, crispy almost. Okay, we'll be right back. So now that we got that done, I'm gonna take a spoon of garlic. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. I love the smell of garlic. I really enjoy that smell. Go ahead and get that all in there. Get that all cooking in, in there. See all that dark, dark stuff down there? I want that later. Take this rice, throw it all in there. Don't be scared. There's only rice. <laughs> so, go ahead and stir that in there. Stir it all in there. Don't let it sit too much in one spot because it can burn. So yeah. Make sure you stir it all in there. And now let's get some color in there. Not the whole pack. You're gonna might you might need that later on. But yeah, you go ahead and you put that in there. You work that in there into the rice. It's looking great already. And it's smelling terrific. Okay. Got that in there. Okay. So, 
you're gonna find a lot of different people that are gonna make this in a bunch of different ways. Um, I actually don't like to serve it dry. I feel like it should be moist, closely to near wet. Um, I like to serve it dry. I don't like to, but yeah, you see what you see. You, you see the the, the, end, the end result. Already, so it's, it's being cooked already. So now we're just gonna drop in the beans. Now let me tell you something. The the main star of this whole stir fry rice is the beans. Don't get it twisted. The beans is what makes this this plate, this rice, this stir fry, uh, great. Okay, um, this is where all the flavor comes from. Uh, the texture. It's, it's, if you if you can make good beans, you can make a great mampostia rice, which is. That's what the actual name of this rice. Stir fry, Puerto Rican stir fry rice, but we call it the Mampos Diablo. It's actually to die for. If you can make it a good thing, if you can make it good, better for you. Okay, make sure you get that heat down though. You don't want to burn it because you're gonna let it sit there for a little bit. Um, yeah, so this is what we're doing right now. I'm just gonna stir it all in there, make sure it all gets in there. All right. Okay. So we're gonna put a little bit of adobo in there. Just to get it with a little bit more of a salty edge. Don't want to make it too salty either, right? Want to watch out for that blood pressure. So yeah, I have a a great friend that uh, a chef that mentored me and he showed me how to make this rice. And the first time I tasted it, fell in love with it. Went crazy bananas, bonkers for it. And yeah, so he showed me a few things. But he didn't show me everything. And I, I thank him for that because I actually learned and I figured out the fl flavor profile on my own. And I tasted it once. I told him a few ingredients. He said, well, since you know some of them, you should know every single one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and give you that as an assignment. You are going to learn how to make this rice on your own. So I kept on watching them, kept on watching them. There was something always, always missing. And I had, I would put all the same ingredients he would put in, but he put them in a certain way. So if you put them in the same way I did just now, it should come out wonderfully. But now this right here, see this right here, this is what's going to make the rice go up to a whole nother level. Freshly chopped cilantro. That stuff right there. It's a different thing. Like you could just smell it already when just the, the steam from the rice comes up and it hits it. It's just insane. So thank you for watching. Um, it's a quick rice that you can make for you, you, for yourself, for your family. For your girlfriend, your wife, your kids, it doesn't matter, uh, a friend. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good good way to uh, impress people. And trust me, they, they won't forget this, they won't forget this plate ever. So if you like the, the recipe I just showed you, uh, hit like, subscribe, follow, share, and comment if you would like for me to make something else other than this rice anything else you want me to make just let me know and i will definitely do it all right so thank you very much 
and have a great day. Enjoy the race.